to be here with you guys today. We're from Dover High, and unfortunately not everybody can make it with us. So let me start off by introducing myself. My name is Shay. I'm a sophomore. Um, this is Fantasia. She's a senior. Sierra, she's a senior. Justin, he's a junior. Jakeem, he's a senior. Hi, Chica, she's a senior. Sierra, she's a senior. Kiwa, she's a senior. And Ivy, she's a senior. All right, so as far as engaging our school, our principal, Mr. Montano, who's up there in the center, the picture at the right, he has been very supportive of us this whole school year. Um, he's been to some of our meetings, and he was very proud of us last year when we came home with second place, and he's looking forward to seeing us do good this year. We have two new advisors with us this year, Mr. Smith and Ms. Williams. Um, our old members had to keep them up with how the program is, because they didn't know, they didn't have any idea. But they didn't hold our hands at all this year. Um, we've done everything ourselves. And um, as far as our hours go for our Jefferson Awards program at Dover High, we have a 90 hour requirement. And um, we don't have a requirement for our school per se, but we have service clubs such as National Honor Society, Interact Club, and ROTC who do have service requirements. So we document hours through that. And our vision for our school and community is to create a growing interest in community service by basically showing how rewarding it is to actually receive the Jefferson Award. And what we're doing is we're starting small in our school's community and trying to expand into our very own neighborhoods and such. And to ensure that the Jefferson Awards program like, stays successful at our school, we want to recruit um, students of younger grades Upperclassmen, two of which are here today, and show them what the foundation is to the Jefferson Awards so that it can be safe. Um, our main our main goal is to get out how important volunteering is. So, like when we nominate a winner and we present their resume and we go through it and find out that it's good and all their hours are legit. Um, we go on our live morning announcements, and one of our advisors and our principal is there to present them with the Jefferson Awards award and the Jefferson Awards pin. And um, like a few pictures here, these are two of our winners, and we had a couple other winners like uh, Katie Davidson, Josh Gesford, and we also just nominated someone for the month of March, and we also had the rest of our nominees for the rest of the year. And our main goal is just to get out how important volunteering is, and we feel like if we give them this award, then it'll show people how important it is. And we put them, we take a picture of them and put it on our main wall in front of our main announcement, in front of our um, main office, and everybody can see it because it's in big bold letters, uh, Jefferson Award winners, and it's a picture of them. <laughs> Fundraising is also a very important part of our program. We did the Auntie Anne's fundraiser for, to help provide for field trips and transportation to events such as this. We're also excited about our soccer dance for the call of the Payne. Um, we're trying to raise awareness and money for that. And we're also holding a Palm Fashion Show that we're also looking forward to. Um, we're really big about getting our winner's stories out to everybody. We want everyone to know the great things they've done to get this award. And um, like Jakeem said, we use the morning announcements, which um, are televised in every single classroom. Um, we use the bulletin board in front of the main office, which last year was kind of plain and boring. It was our first year. This year we have like bright yellow paper, so everyone has to stop and see it. <laughs> we have posters in the hallway, some of them which unfortunately are kind of annoying now because people stop in the middle of the hall and it says, you, hey you. <laughs> <laughs> everyone reads it. <laughs> we have a link up on the school webpage so everyone can go see that, including parents. So we have been very active this year in expanding our program and by making ties with the senior high school shout out to them and this Valentine. And um, early this week, we went to McCain to recruit them and to get them started and active with um, injection awards. And we are also trying to recruit um, Lake Forest and our 
our biggest rival since arriving in high school. <laughs> Um, last year we started out, um, we were a new school, we, did, we really didn't know what we were doing. Um, so we had our, Mr. Kane, he was our advisor last year, but he is off at war, so we had to start all over again. So, you know, we're kind of new at this, but we made a lot of improvements, like um, the size of our team. We started out at five last year, then went down to three, and now we're back at 11, so I don't know, do the math. <laughs> <laughs> require a resume, like the 90-hour requirement and all this stuff. And um, we just wanted to get out to, school, to the school that, you know, you can win this if you do community service. Um, overall, we created a larger interest in school. A lot of people are coming up to us like, hey, you know, I do community service. And we're like, you do? And they're like, yeah. And we're like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a maven. It's like being kind of the zoo. <laughs> well, with, like she said earlier, within those past, Past year, we have increased our productivity and diverse communities in other schools by 40% in the last year. So, other schools step the game up. In our school, we have 1,460 students, and um, not all of them do service, but this is a little um, the ones who track it. There's been 2,356.5 hours. <laughs>